on check one two three yo what up youtube subscribers all right y'all um y'all are responding to my videos so uh, i guess that would be a good reason to put another video up all right so uh npc essentials is the reason why you're here sampling from itunes is the topic so uh let's go in on that um you'll need a wave editor um, if you don't know what a wave editor is, it's a program that you use to import MP3s or um, AIFF or wave files, and then you can manipulate the wave itself. Um, for a wave editor, I'll be using GarageBand. Um, you could use anything from GarageBand to uh, your DAW. Um, Sony Sound Forge is the top of the line. Like I, that is my go-to wave editor. Um, and uh, let's see, any DAW. Um, and then there's Audacity, which is a free wave editor, which is really good. So uh, there's a lot of options out there, but we'll be using GarageBand, all right? All right, so let me give you guys a visual real quick. This will be a laid back video, of course, just like the videos that I'm constantly doing, all right? So here's GarageBand. Um, I want you guys to pay attention to the track that I have loaded. That's an instrument track. You cannot load waves onto instrument tracks. They're strictly for MIDI information. So I'll show you a quick way to make a uh, audio track. Click on the plus sign. And so that will give you a drop down window to create a track. So normally you guys would be looking at this view and you can just click and it will give you the default uh, audio track man this wasn't supposed to be a garage band tutorial maybe I'll change the title so right below details you'll see input so if you click on this window you can choose mono left mono right or mono stereo so we'll click on stereo because we're going to be importing a stereo track All right. so then you click create boom it automatically gives you a audio stereo stereo audio track okay so we have an audio track here boom and we could then go to any place on our hard drive uh, or an external drive and drag an audio track onto this uh, for sampling um, but what we're focusing on right now is iTunes. So follow my mouse, guys. If you go to the top right hand of the screen, click on the media link. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Maybe if I hover over it, it'll tell me exactly what it is. Okay, I know this is Apple Loops. And this one's called the media browser. Okay, inside of the media, I like to be, you know, politically correct sometimes. Not all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I say sideways stuff. All right, so you got your GarageBand drop down. Click on the iTunes drop down. Bada bing. Tell it you want to import music, and it gives you a plethora of different things that you can import. But you want to import music, and if this window wasn't open, it is now open. So now you can go into your iTunes library and say, hmm, what songs do I have in my library? Uh, that I want to uh, chop up and sample and maybe you have been had a, um, idea to sample something for years um, I'm not gonna be playing any audio in this video I would but I don't want to uh, play any audio I just want to basically take you guys through the um, through the steps man to give you guys a practical look and I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what I want to sample Maybe I'll give somebody some promo that I really like. Uh, there's this artist that I like called Alex Faith. Um, I actually met him here in Chicago at Moody Bible Institute. And uh, he hooked me up with a free CD. And the CD that he gave me was like exclusive because when I downloaded it from iTunes, the CD had more exclusive songs on it same graphic and everything but the iTunes version was different so I'm gonna just drag and drop this onto the audio track if you don't have an audio track available and it's just MIDI you can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and uh, drop it into the 
workspace and it will create an audio track for you so anyways with that CD I ended up ripping that CD into my iTunes and because you know the iTunes version doesn't have as many songs so that's one thing that's cool about meeting your favorite artist is that uh, you can um, get exclusive content okay so what just happened was uh, I drag and drop the audio into the project window but uh, GarageBand doesn't use mp4 file so it's converting it to an AIFF file um, or it may be using it as an mp4 it may just be uh, copulating to make a visual so that you can actually see the wave so I'm going to um, drag this to measure one and as I drag this to measure one you guys are going to see <coughs> the uh, audio copulate now here's where it gets really artistic um, and not necessarily technical you if you watch my last video and the other uh, sample chop video you know that sampling is an art form and so you decide where and when you want to chop what you want to chop what area you want to extract so you could do your extracting area here you could actually do your chopping area here that's why they call it a wave editor because you can edit the wave um, we're not going to export the entire song um, we're just going to take a little piece of this uh, audio um, I definitely recommend you guys going to uh, check out this uh, Alex Faith album it's, it's really dope man it's really dope uh, it's something uh, my entire family uh, listens to and um, you know if you have uh, small children because you know some artists you know you don't you don't want your kids to be listening to some certain content and uh, Alex's stuff is, is, uh, is safe for small children to listen to uh, all right so what I'm gonna do now that my wave file is formed I just want the first little piece of this album uh, to chop it up all right so <clears throat> we're going to uh, select this area and we're going to take the uh, loop section and we're going to extend that so that it captures the entire wave and then we're going to go up to the share function or drop down menu I'm sorry in the menu and then we're going to export this to the disk it's going to give us a codec and so with that codec we're going to tell it yo I want you to put this file in this place but first we're going to tell it what type of file we want you can do an AAC you, will, you can do an AIFF AIFF is basically a wave. Um, it's uh, uncompressed, and uh, you have a drop down here where you can choose uh, whether you want 16 to 24 bit. Again, 16 is CD quality. Not everything can handle a uh, 16. Uh, I'm sorry, 24, 32, 64 bit file. So we'll do a 16 bit. All right, and then we're gonna put this on the desktop, and we'll call this uh, Alex. Faith Chop. Alright, so we got the Alex Faith Chop. Bada bing, bada bip. And we specify we want it to the desktop. We'll export that joint. Bam. Okay, so now while that's copulating, uh, it should go pretty quick. We only got about like 10, 15, 17 measures. I don't know. Um, I'll break down the fact that you know if you already have mpc uh, essentials loaded up you can just go ahead and drag and drop that file in there i'm gonna go ahead and quit garage man because i don't need it it's gonna ask me if i want to save this no we do not just using this for educational purposes all right so bada bing bada bip that's gonna close and then we're gonna jump into mpc essentials give me a second for that to load i pay a couple bills at the beginning of my videos, if you watch them, there are advertisements, and in the bottom left-hand corner, there are, um, what do you call these things, ad links. It's telling me MPC is already running. That's not true. Oh, yeah, I had GarageBand open. Okay, give me a second to let that close. Um, there are links in the bottom left-hand corner. Please let those videos play all the way through. Um, you can decide to click on those links. It helps a lot. It helps uh, the... 
uh, YouTube content providers such as myself. It helps the entire YouTube community and even people who come to get education from these videos such as yourself. I feel like a PBS commercial <laughs> from support of viewers like you. Um, also, at the top right hand corner of the screen, uh, there's an information link. There's a little I. Click on that link and it'll take you to my new drum kit. It's called Miss Blue Vinyl. My latest drum kit. It's actually a sample pack, more so. There are uh, drums uh, located in the samples, but um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice drum pack. So thanks in advance for your support of that. And uh, I'm still waiting for um, NPC Essentials to load up. So that's cool. I wanted to make this a super quick video, and this will be quicker than videos that I, I normally make um, because sometimes they're like 45 an hour you know hour plus vids um, this one will be a lot quicker than that I'll just uh, show you guys how to drag and drop this sample into NPC Essentials and then you can go and check my uh, sample chop uh, and pad edit videos for NPC Essentials to show you how to uh, put these samples onto the pads if this is the first time watching one of my videos so um, we're good to go on NPC Essentials. I'm just waiting on it to pop up on my screen. <laughs> waiting for it to chop up on my clean. Let me check my chat section, see if anybody trying to holler at me. I definitely look forward to uh, talking to people. Um, Got a chance to talk to some people from uh, all over the world uh, last week. And so uh, this week I'm looking forward to see who I get a chance to talk to. Okay, so we've got NPC Essentials loaded up, ready to go, right? Um, just like in my other video, you're going to go to the sample edit, editor, sample edit. Uh, icon at the top of the screen click on that you'll get the gray box here's my Alex Faith chop file bada bing I'm gonna drop it into the gray edit area it will copulate alright it's creating the wave for me and there's my wave ready to be chopped and sampled and placed onto the pads please do me a favor put a thumbs up on this video so that I can uh, drive up the relevant charts and um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, I make videos based on comments sometimes. Um, and uh, subscribe. Tell a friend to subscribe. Tell your mother <laughs> to subscribe. <laughs> All right. So um, we down like four flat tires on a dump truck, and I'm up out of here. Uh, Y'all stay cool. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, peace, like two fingers. I'm out of here.